What's up guys? Welcome back to another, and as of right now, final video on the old 98 GMC. Um, I didn't film this, but I did get the side steps in and put on. Oh, that's too dark to see. Um, I didn't film it just because it was literally drill six holes and bolt them in but those are on and looking good and i like them it's not easier to get in the truck now um this video however <clears throat> i got my gooseneck hitching i have a 20 foot gooseneck that we use to haul stuff around on and this truck doesn't have a gooseneck so we're gonna be putting this in i got it's a kurt double lock gooseneck hitch i don't know what that means but we're going to work these boxes open and get into it. So let's get started. All right, so we got everything out. This is the hitch itself. He's stout little thing. Uh, this is the hitch. Came with the ball. Two and five, six, six ball. The oh, grab it, eh? rock release handle. I got all my hardware, safety chain hold downs. The lock, this is actually the double pin lock. Um, these are the two, I guess you call them cross members that go across the whole truck, and these are the frame plates that bolt to the outside of the frame. This supposedly is a no drill kit, it's supposed to bolt to existing holes in the frame. All I gotta do is, I gotta cut the hole in the bed for the ball to come through and drill holes for the uh, safety lock to go through the bed. And it gave me measurement instructions in here for where to drill the holes and everything. So we're gonna go ahead and start with these. Uh, side plate see if we can't get these bolted in the only problem i can see with this kit is it didn't give me instructions on how to put it together it gave me instructions on where to drill the hole and that's it and that those instructions are here and it showed me a diagram of how this goes together but didn't even give me instructions on that this box came with no instructions at all so we'll figure this out together uh figure out what side's which on these plates and we'll get to it Alright, so I lied. I found the instructions. They were in the bolt bag hidden behind this decal that pulled with the same size that they even think to look in the bolt bag. Um, that's all the that's all the hardware it comes with. But well, technically, this is a no drill kit. Even the instructions say each plate on the side has got all these holes in it. The slotted hole up front and the slotted hole in the back are existing holes in the frame. All the other holes, there's technically a hole there, but it's like a maybe a quarter inch hole that's drilled to the frame and I guess that'd be great to start a pilot hole I don't have to do it I just drill it out with a bigger bit which is what I'm going to do which is what the instructions suggest you do um, but I can go ahead and bolt these brackets up with the two bolts that are on there and get the cross pieces on there and everything um, you're supposedly able to do that and lift the bed off at all so we'll get under there and throw these brackets on there and I'll just hog up in there and see what we got. First thing we gotta do is put the center section together the hitch. This part where the ball actually locks in. Pretty simple. Got a long pull handle. This actually will stick out the side of the frame and this is what you will pull, which will disengage this, which is what actually locks the ball into the hitch. So that slides into there. 380 straight forward. Got a long spring that goes here to keep it tensioned in. Got this slides in. And then just one long bolt, one little bolt that holds it all together. Pretty simple, that way you just unlock and lock itself back. <clears throat> I'll tighten this bolt down, this will be done. It's got a little beauty ring with it for up top once you get on the bed and everything. So put that on later. It did actually come with this. It's some little, I don't know what you want to call it, edge guard. Put around the hole when you cut in the bed just to keep from being sharp. <clears throat> I'm going to tighten this bolt down and we'll 
we'll move on. Alright guys, <clears throat> so the first step was hitch to have you measure to find the center of the bed. Instructions say measure 48 and I think 7 eighths from the back of the bed. You drill a four inch hole. So that's what we're doing now. And this is the center of the hitch and you bolt it in around this location. So we're gonna go ahead and drill the hole real quick. Next step is to start laying the cross brackets underneath the bed and we center up the actual hitch bulk of the hitch itself and then side arms will take it underneath the bed for the next part. Instructions say, next thing the instructions say, install this cross arm. The instructions just say slide it up in there. So we'll put this one out together, I guess. You know when there's directions and stuff and it says like something crazy like remove the spare tire and you're just like nah I don't need to do that and then you realize that the instructions are probably smarter than you well anywho I got these up in here and they just slid on up in here and now I'm gonna put the center section in I had to undo the handle because the picture had the handle in it, but you can realize the handle has to go up and over the frame rail over here, and it can't with it in there. So, check that back out. So now I gotta try to lift this thing up in here and get some bolts from these things, and then try to line it up with this hole. So, it's just a little heavy. Inside there, little carriage bolts. Thank you, Evans. All right, next thing to do. These side plates loosely in. First thing is going to go through this back hole into here for the back bar. Tell me, do the it says do the other side back first, and we'll come back with this. But I'm already on this side, and we'll go ahead and get this one started. Just a regular nut and bolt. It's telling me to go ahead and attach this front hole up here, and there's one in the back over here. It says to loosely put a bolt through there, and that'll get things lined up right. This, I don't know if you can see it, there's an old exhaust hanger back here, which this is kind of tied up again, so I'll probably end up taking this out because obviously my exhaust is running the end of the bed. We'll go, grab some bolts, pull this, put these in, take this out real quick.
Alrighty. Leave all this stuff hand tight for now. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. Now this has holes for more bolts. Instructions says you don't have to put them in. And there are actually small, there may be quarter inch holes drilled right here in these locations. So if you want to, I guess you just drill those out to a half inch and a half inch bolt. We're gonna get all this secured down and then we'll worry about this in a little bit. I do want to come back and put bolts in here. Just for my own good nature. I got a 20 foot gooseneck I tow around with this, so I'm kind of paranoid about that. So we're gonna rip this little hit, this little hanger off just to get it out of the way. And then I'll run to the other side, set up like this, and we'll go up top and make sure everything is centered where we need to, and then we'll wrench her down. Okay, so the last thing we gotta do underneath the truck is drill the holes for the safety chain latches. Um, it gives you two options because it knows that beds are ribbed. So as you find a low rib on the bed, then drill the hole before. That way you're not crushing the bed any with the chains. So I think these holes are going to be my winner. I'm going to do a half inch hole. Then we'll go up top, drop the hooks through, and the bottom has a spring on it. That way it keeps the hooks sucked down until you need to use them to pull it up. So I can drop them in through the top. Alright. Put a spring on. Washer. And that. Spring. Washer. And that. Change. The only thing left to do is it comes with this little beauty ring. I don't know. Make it prettier, I guess. See, it's starting to rain on me. Alrighty. That's going to be a wrap. I ain't going nowhere. Right, pull my trailer again. Well, that's going to be a wrap for this one. Finish just in time as rain starts coming down. But uh, yeah, that's finally all the parts we had for this truck. Finally got it all finished up. Good to go. I am gonna take it to a local hitch shop and get the wire, brake controller, and a new plug. As you can see, the one I got's not doing so very well over there. But that's gonna be it for this truck for now, unless something goes wrong with it. Uh, actually, fault. I do have a boost gauge, manual boost gauge. The vacuum pump on this truck was bad, so I went to a mechanical waste actuator and I ordered a new boost gauge for it so I can make sure it's at the right setting for boost temperature, boost temperature, boost pressure and whatnot. So I will do a video on that when it does get here, but that's it for now for this. Thanks for watching. As always, please like and subscribe and we'll see you again real soon.